Hi, I'm Mark. I'm here to tell you about my new washer I just got. My Kenmore died after about five years. So I really didn't want to get a new Kenmore. So this is my uh, step up to a GE. I mean, it was uh, about $477, and uh, but it was on sale, normally like $600, which is, you know, kind of a lot of money. But let's take a look at it. I mean, it looks pretty nice. It's got like, you know, a lot of settings and stuff here. And uh, you know, if you open it up and look inside, it's like, wow, that's really nice. It's got, you know, stainless steel. It's really deep. Uh, you know, at first glance, it looks like a pretty good, pretty good buy. But uh, let's see how it washes clothes. Sorry, if you wanted a quick review, uh, the washer, it sucks. But... If you want the longer review, keep watching. So I'm gonna wash some clothes here. Uh, throw some in. Uh, one of the main problems I've seen with this washer is that uh, somehow the clothes just get all tangled up in there. And then uh, it gets out of whack and uh, off balance and then it, uh, it just starts banging around like crazy. Besides uh, some other problems with it. But let's see how, uh, let's see the load here. Okay, so I got a load of clothes in here. I got like uh, two pairs of jeans. I mean, everything, so you can see everything's just kind of in here real light. Um, these clothes are actually already clean, so I'm not going to uh, add any detergent. But uh, just to show you how the thing works. So anyways, it's not, let's say that's like a medium kind of load. And uh, let's see here. So we got it loaded. Um... I got it set here on maximum water level, uh, deep rinse, uh, medium colors there, and a warm temperature. So now the water stopped here and we're at um, the highest point I guess there and this is on I uh, see that it's on the maximum water loads load size um, if you look down here there's really about oh I don't know there's you know maybe a few inches of water maybe about five inches of water in there so we'll uh, we'll let it keep going here This is just to let you hear how loud it is. It is pretty loud. I mean, uh, compared to our old one, it's uh, it's a lot different. And uh, you know, yeah, some washing machines are kind of noisy, but I mean, this is really noisy. But uh, let's keep it going.
this is crazy so I gotta step in here and, and do something about this because it's uh, apparently not gonna work out here so let's see here okay so this has happened every single time um, this one actually isn't too bad most of the time these these clothes get wrapped around this agitator I've only done like about four loads of clothes but every single time this this machine is messed up so so this time nothing's really wrapped around this but uh, everything's in a, a pretty tight ball in here uh, the last load I spent about a couple minutes trying to get this stuff uh, off from around the agitator. And you could tell when uh, this was uneven, the machine filled up with water again to try to stabilize it and uh which it obviously didn't do so uh seemed to use more water you know twice as much water to try to stabilize this load so anyways now everything's in there a little more even um let's see if uh if we can finish this load uh let's see here we just wanna let me continue here So all I can say is I'm pretty disappointed with this washer. I mean, it's loud. Um, it doesn't really put in a lot of water in there to wash your clothes. Um, clothes seem to get tangled up in the agitator pretty bad or they get bunched up. Um, and then that throws the machine out of balance. Then it has to fill again with water to try to balance them out. And then it doesn't and, and it starts uh, getting out of uh, balance again. So. You really have to step in, I think, on every single load and redistribute your clothes so they're going to, you know, it's going to run all right. And uh, But uh, I've done about four loads in a row that all turned out this way. They unbalanced and then the machine rocks out, you know, probably uh, here it's about eight inches and it's hitting the, hitting the wall. So now I, you know, I'd have to build something to uh, keep it away from the, the wall. Anyways, I'm going to leave you with uh, uh, this normal routine now with this washer. is trying to push it back in place against the wall. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your uh, washer purchase.